go. Uh, that's kind of <clears throat> this week's batch of tomatoes. But, uh, I didn't do a separate video for each each way in. I did, but but I didn't. You know what I mean. But uh, from last week's total to this week's total, we're at uh, 49.55 pounds uh, from the greenhouse. <clears throat> Nothing uh, from the garden or the grow frame. So. Uh, Oh, uh, let me grab, I was going to talk to you about what I've been doing this week. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to get over here where you can see, but I don't know if you can see. It's, this one's not a good example, but uh, when they're fresh, freshly dug, they'll have a, a bunch of little white bumps on them. And, uh... Maybe this one will show up a little better. See all those little bumps? But uh, I see that just about every time we have a, a wet spring. And uh, this year we had a really wet spring. In fact, uh, I don't know, a week ago, two weeks ago, somewhere around there, we had six inches of rain. So, it was wet, and now it's hot. <laughs> uh, the heat index the last two days has been about 106 degrees Fahrenheit for, for y'all uh, people that use that Celsius. I don't know what that is. But here's the, uh, here's the garden. Not much has changed other than the weeds. Weeds have gotten taller. I haven't checked the beets. But I still need to tie those tomatoes up. But uh, I started digging one potato row. As you can see, these vines have not died down yet. But I dug some potatoes because that first batch of tomatoes had about 30 pounds of them. And I uh, made up some vegetable soup with some, uh, some carrots and uh, potatoes chopped sweet pepper, uh, chopped onion, and I, was, I dug some potatoes at the far end of the garden down there and noticed all those little white spots. So, uh, so I just continued digging these and I've been digging them with a potato fork. And this is all I like on the first, uh, first row. Been doing about a bucket a day. And we've been, uh, canning them and dehydrating them so because I know uh, these are not going to store very long I mean they would store for probably a couple of months maybe longer but uh, I don't have a good place to store them anyway but uh, this was the, the last row of potatoes I planted and I haven't looked at them yet so I don't know what's what they're what they're going to look like underneath. I suspect they'll look just like these other two rows. But, uh, that's what I've been doing. It's pretty much full time uh, garden now. Uh, even though I'm not getting a lot out of it, other than potatoes and tomatoes out of the greenhouse and some onions, uh, it pretty much keeps me busy all day long. So, uh, and these beets are getting close. They're going to, going to be a little small right now. But, oh yeah, this one's, this one's definitely ready. As you can see, that's about the right size for, for canning. And uh, maybe uh, might be a mess in here. Uh, come through here and thin them out. I'll look them over here a little a little later. That sun's still pretty warm. It still feels about 100 degrees out here. The peas, peas are liking it. I don't think the temperature ever got below 80 degrees last night. The okra's liking it, but uh, if we don't get some rain, they won't like it for long. Even though they're a heat-loving plant, they love water too. And here's the uh, here's the grow frame. It's uh, 
tomatoes are growing they're still sitting uh, out here and uh, uh, I found a few little army worms out here and I may have to spray some some BT out here to, to kill the worms the caterpillars basically because uh, something to eat all of my, my bunching onions that I had growing they was about two inches tall and they mowed them plumb down level with the with the potting mix there I gave these uh, a little drink of uh, water soluble fertilize uh, about six inches of rain we had pretty much flushed <laughs> flushed all of these out there wasn't any nutrients left in them and they was kind of yellow and kind of like this okra but uh, see the okra is getting eat on too and it's some kind of bug I don't know what bug it is I don't want to put any broad spectrum insecticide out here because like I said this is all this has on it is shade cloth and it's not uh, insect proof otherwise I wouldn't have insects in here right but uh, there's some gaps at the end there's some gaps down at the bottom it's all this dirt washed in and that stuff is slick when it's wet so I may have to uh, to put some pine bark mulch or something down to uh, keep from falling down out here anyway I just thought I'd bring y'all out here and uh, let y'all see uh, see the grow frame see how they're doing uh, looks like we're going to have some tomatoes <laughs> don't know what's going to happen through this this hot spell we're having right now if we'll have any fruit set or just blossom drop Probably a little both. I'm not going to do a weigh-in every day. There's a very little interest. Oh, let me get past that fan. But, uh, there's very little interest in the in the tomato weigh-in, so uh, I'll just keep y'all uh, updated periodically on. Uh, how many tomatoes I, I've got this year like I said this isn't a competition with anybody I just never have kept a record of uh, how many pounds of tomatoes I've uh, harvested through uh, through one year and this one's a little different because I've got three different growing conditions I've got the greenhouse which is pretty much controlled environment other than than the hot because <laughs> it, it was 106 degrees in there this morning and the uh, the grow frame which is just shade cloth over it to try to help uh, hold some of the temperature you know down to where it might get a little better fruit set than the ones out here in the garden also so we've got three different growing conditions and uh, we'll uh, we'll keep track of how many pounds of tomatoes I, I get uh, out of all three of these and then I total at the end of the season uh, now let's get back to tomatoes I want to clarify something because I've made the comment several times and greenhouse tomatoes just don't taste as good as the ones in the ground now let me clarify what I look for in a tomato I want a tomato to taste like the old time tomatoes did if you ate too many of them made the corners of your mouth sore because of all the acid in them and that's what I look for in a tomato I want I want an acidic tomato I don't want a sweet tomato to me sweet and tomato shouldn't even be in the same sentence so I look for acidic tomatoes and to me greenhouse tomatoes have not performed for me I only get that flavor when grown out in the outside garden in the ground. I don't know if that has to do with the with the soil or or what, but the, there's something different to me. 
So I just thought I would uh, clarify that because <laughs> a lot of people disagree with me. That's fine. You know, they, they look for a different taste in their tomatoes. I look for an acidic taste. And that's what I look for. If it's if it's sweet, that's not the type of tomato I want. So uh, hopefully uh, I've cleared all that up with all y'all. <laughs> now you know what what I define a, a tomato flavor. You know. And sometimes I do uh, one bucket a day. And sometimes I do two buckets a day. I'm trying to set that up where that glare ain't in your face, but I mean these are some nice potatoes and I'm just going to try to pull these vines away so I can kind of see where the ground is cracking. Uh, yeah. We got a, I mean a nice <clears throat> group of potatoes here. I normally don't count potatoes. <laughs> There's two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are little. But, uh, eleven, twelve, Nice, nice potatoes, except they have those bumps. They're not going to keep very long. Yeah, I've just about got this bucket full. This vine here will probably finish up uh, this bucket. Sometimes I do stab them. <laughs> many pounds I'm going to get. I planted 30 pounds. I'm sure I'll get a 10 to 1 ratio. I should get uh, 300 pounds or close to it. Oh, I know the lighting's getting bad. I just uh, thought I'd throw these in. Some of the Detroit dark red beets uh, I just pulled. Rinsed them off. Uh, it's about the size I, I like to pick them. Uh, I didn't thin them out like I should have just because uh, it was wet for one thing and then uh, too many other irons in the fire. But uh, it just, uh, I mean, it, they could use a, a drink of water now, now that it's got hot, uh, ground's getting hard. Probably, probably not going to do real well, like I said, unless they get some water, then uh, I'm probably not going to water them. It was mainly just to see if, uh, if they'd come up, and uh, whatever they make, they make. <laughs> you can tell that I uh, worked up a little sweat, digging those two little buckets, and the uh, sun's uh, getting close to setting, and it's about time to get cleaned up.